Short week here for the Giants as now they head to Indianapolis, Indiana to take on the Indianapolis Colts. And the Colts have a new starting quarterback for the first time this season. They have Dwight Bowden in his Bowden's rookie season with the Indianapolis Colts. And he is their starting quarterback. He is from Oklahoma State. No longer is Carson Wentz here. No longer is Teddy Bridgewater here. I know, yeah, Bridgewater's here for a little bit. Phillip Rivers, of course, had a stint in Indianapolis. No, Dwight Bowden is the new face of the franchise for the Indianapolis. Indianapolis Colts, and he's still got some solid receivers and some solid backs. You've got Kyron Williams, the man out of Notre Dame, is their starting running back. Also, Marlon Mack is still here. Jonathan Taylor's in Houston. That's kind of weird, but Michael Pittman's still in the squad, the family man for the Indianapolis Colts, and also Devontae Adams is here, but Devontae Adams like a 72 overall. He's old, and he's not very good anymore, so there's that, and also, folks, if you haven't yet, make sure to go check out the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode on NCAA 14. We took on the Missouri Tigers, and if you want to see a Another Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode episode, 65 likes on that Missouri game, and we'll get up the Auburn game this weekend. But going back now to this Giants game, if you can tell, there's echo in the background. Again, working on a fix. We'll see if we can get that one solved in the very near future. But here we go, Giants and Colts, Thursday Night Football from Lucas Oil Stadium. Coming out first will be Daniel Jones. Good start to the year, man. 1,143 yards, 10 touchdowns with only one interception. The interceptions have been the problem. I mean, it's always a problem when I play Madden, but Jones has kept them at a minimum so far this season. And look at that. Jones gonna thread the needle here on a third and 10 to Aji Hall. Hall's gonna pick up a gain of 22 to start this one off here for the Giants offense. It is now a 39 from the 47. Jones dropping back, looking to throw to his left. He's got Aji Hall again. It's Hall's second catch and they are both for first down conversions as Jones starts five for five in this game. Make it six for six as he's gonna find Kadarius Tony on the RPO and Tony's gonna get the Giants down to the 14 yard line. 63 passing yards already for Jones in the first drive. Second and nine for Daniel Jones, looking to throw over the middle. Trying to force it to Aji Hall again. This time it's going to be picked off. It's Julian Blackman. And out comes Dwight Bowden. He's got 896 yards so far in the season. Five touchdowns with three INTs. The Colts will come out from the 20-yard line. Bowden dropping back, looking to throw. Going to his right, and he's going to be sacked. It's Kavon Thibodeau. Thibodeau is going to make it now a third and 13 for the Colts offense. Dropping back is Bowden going to take a shot downfield. He's hit as he throws, and that one will be incomplete. So the Giants defense will get off the field, and the offense will get the football back from the 42-yard line. It's a third and four for Daniel Jones. Out the gun, looking to his right. He gets it to Xavier Worthy. Worthy going to shred the defender, and Xavier Worthy is going to get the Giants all the way down to the eight-yard line. Jones with 100 yards passing. Now it's a third and goal from the three. Empty set for Jones. They go screen to the right to get Darius Tony, but Jones's pass is going to take Tony off balance. So we're going to have to settle for a 23 yard field goal with Harrison Butker. Obviously, he's going to hit it, but it's a three nothing game now in favor of New York. Indianapolis got it back here with five seconds left to go in the first quarter. Bowden looking to throw, dropping back. He's under pressure. Bowden still rolling to his right. He's going to heave one up and he's going to complete a ball. It's the family man. It is Michael Pittman Jr. And Pittman's got the Colts deep into Giants territory as we go to the second quarter. It's 3 0 for the G Men. Third nine for the Colts from the 26 yard line. Bowden dropping back, looking to pick up this first down. He's gonna step up, go to his right, and he will complete a pass there for the first down. It will be KJ Hamler. Now a third and three for Indianapolis. Bowden going to his right, he's gonna complete one. It's Kyron Williams, and Williams is into the end zone. What a drive for the Colts. What a response. And Indianapolis is going to take the lead at 7-3 for the Colts. The Giants offense back with you here in a first and 10. Daniel Jones from his own 33. Going to heave one up. And Kadarius Tony's going to come down with it. Oh, my goodness. Kadarius Tony down to the 30-yard line. It's a first down for the Giants. Here comes that first down. It will be a handoff to Saquon Barkley. And Barkley up the middle. He's been silent so far. It's his seventh carry for 16 yards. We're going to give it to him again here on a second and one. And Barkley's going to do enough for the first down. Trying to get in the end zone. Oh, he couldn't shake off that safety from Indianapolis. But still, Barkley's down to the eight-yard line for a first and goal. It will be a play-action fake. Jones is going to look to throw. He's going to give it back to Saquon Barkley. And Barkley's going to get it. 
this time through a passing game, but Saquon Barkley's in the end zone, and the Giants will retake the lead. They go back up here in Indianapolis. The score is 10 to seven with Indy getting the football back with three and a half to go. Bowden on a third and eight is gonna check it down to Kyron Williams. He will not pick up the first down, and the Giants will force a punt out of Indianapolis. They get it back from their own 25 yard line for a third and seven. Jones on the run gets it to Stephon Diggs, and Diggs will barely get enough to get over that first down marker. And now it's a first down again for the Giants. Jones gonna scramble to his right, looking on the run again. This time, he's got Kadarius Tony. How many catches does Tony have so far? I don't know, because Jones is 15 for 17, throwing the football. Make it 16 for 18 as he goes to Tony again. Kadarius Tony to the 45. The Giants have now got it to the 32 for a first and 10. Jones trying to evade the pressure, and he takes a sack. So it's a second and 20 now with 30 seconds to go. Daniel Jones on the run. He tried to thread the needle to Kadarius Tony once more. Nice tackle by Daniel Jones, but it's going to be picked off by Banks. And Banks is going to return it down to midfield. The Colts offense will get a shot before the end of the half. 13 seconds to go. Bowden's hit as he throws. And he's lucky that one's incomplete. So the Colts will take this one to halftime down by three. The Giants, of course, still on top. Somewhat of a low scoring game. It's 10 to 7 for the Giants here on Thursday Night Football. So the Colts get it to start off the second half. It will be a third and nine for Bowden. He's looking to throw in the pocket. He's got some time. He'll throw up his back foot. Going for it all. Michael Pittman Jr. will get two feet in bounds. Show why Pittman's one of the best receivers, honestly, in the NFL in real life. Man, that dude's going to be a stud. It's a first and 10 for Indianapolis. They go on the ground to Marlon Mack. Jabril Peppers can't tackle him, and no one can tackle him. How is Marlon Mack still in, in Indianapolis? He outlasted Taylor. He outlasted Hines. I don't know how he's still here, but the Colts go up 14-10. The Giants offense will get it back from the 47-yard line. Daniel Jones going to throw on the comeback route. He's got Stephon Diggs down to the 30-yard line. I mean, hey, with the exception of the two interceptions, Jones has had a very good day throwing the football. We're going to give it back to Saquon. And the run game just hasn't been there today. Between us getting stuffed and now Darius Leonard stripping Saquon Barkley. The Colts offense will get it back from the 29-yard line. Bowden in the pocket. He'll go down again. This time it's Dallas Turner around the edge. It's now a third and 17 for the Colts offense. Bowden dropping back. He's got time. He's sitting there like a statue. Still looking. And you know how this always ends up. It's always a completion. I, I don't get it. First down for Bowden. He will find his receiver. It is Rico Powers, the man of South Carolina. Now a third and eight for Indianapolis. Again, Bowden looking. He's going to take a shot downfield. Tredavious White. Yeah, don't throw that man's way. Do not throw that man's way. It will be an interception no matter what. And Tredavious White will get the football right back to the G-men. They'll have it at the 17-yard line with White's big interception now. To get him the football back. Here comes this first and 10. Play action fake for Jones. Looking to throw. I do not trust the run anymore. So we're just going to do this. Jones to Ingram. Oh my. Evan Ingram is going to get two feet in bounds at the 46 yard line. Now a third and four for New York. Jones with Gambler. So he can't throw an interception right now. No matter what. Jones going to scramble. He's got Xavier Worthy. Oh my. Worthy's going to get two feet in bounds. Clutch catch for Worthy. It's his second in the ball game. Now in a second and six. Yeah, we're not giving it to Saquon. We can trust Stephon Diggs to the outside. Diggs going to cut it back. Oh my goodness. Diggs is going to fumble the football, and yeah, the Colts going to get it back from the 20-yard line. We're, yeah, we're done running it. We are done running. We are just exclusively throwing the football. Marlon Mack now in a second and 10 is going to find his way down to the 44 after a gain of nine. Now a third and one for Indianapolis. They give it back to Marlon Mack, and Antonio Alfano is going to make a very nice play. So that right there is going to stop the Colts, and we'll get the football back from around 26-yard line here on a second and inches. Daniel Jones trying to heave one up. He's still looking to throw. I think he's just going to let Xavier Worthy come back to the football. Very nice ball placement right there by Daniel Jones, getting it to Worthy on his 30th pass attempt of the game. And the Giants will now have it at midfield here, down by four. Let's see if we can pull this one out here on primetime football. But the Giants got a third and 10 from midfield. Jones dropping back, looking to get rid of the football. He's got Saquon Barkley. Barkley, though, is going to be short of the first down marker. He's only going to pick up eight. So now it's going to be a fourth and two from the 42. We're throwing it, of course. Jones going to find Evan Ingram. He throws it behind him, but Ingram still catches the football. Jones with 340 on the day. And now it's a first and 10 from the 34. Jones in the crossing route going backside to Reggie Roberson. Roberson's got 11 yards down to the 23-yard line. Now a second and nine from 
from the 22. Jones again looking to throw the football, and he's going to eat his sack instead. It's going to get rid of Gambler, and now it's a third and 16 with six and a half to go in this game. Daniel Jones going to his right. He'll throw one on the run for Xavier Worthy, and it's incomplete. So we're going to have to kick the field goal here. With 6.30 to go, we're going to have to let Harrison Butker use his leg. He will hit it, so we're going to be down by one. You got to get a stop right now. Here we go. Can the Giants defense come up clutch one more time? It's a second and five handoff to Marlon Mack, and Mack is going to completely take it to the outside. He'll pick up a big gain down to the New York 34-yard line, where it's now a second and nine at four Indianapolis. Bowden dropping back, looking to his left, and Kavon Thibodeau, shoestring tackle, will take it. For now, it takes the Colts out of field goal range. Here comes the third and 23. Bowden dropping back. We got to pick up on everyone. He'll get it to Marlon Mack. Tredavious White can't tackle him. And I think Mack's going to get enough to get into field goal range. It will be a 52-yarder now for the Colts. We will see. They're going to attempt it. Can we get lucky here? The field goal is up, and it is good. 17-13 is the score. The Giants offense gets it back with two minutes to go. We're going to need a good drive here, and there's a start. Jones to digs the outside, gets the Giants to the 42-yard line. Big play to start us off. Here comes the first and 10. Jones with two running backs in the game, and he's going to go to that second running back. It is Khalil Herbert on the Texas route, and Herbert's going to pick up 23 down to the 19-yard line, so the Giants are back in the red zone just like that. Here on a first and 10, Jones on a play-action fake, looking to throw. Single coverage, he's got Evan Ingram, and Ingram's going to take it in for six. It's a 19-yard touchdown. It's the go-ahead touchdown as well. The Giants will take the lead. It took them, what, four plays to get back in the end zone? It's 20-17 to with the Colts getting it back with a minute to go. Here comes Bowden on a second and nine looking to throw the football. He throws it off his back foot. Can Akeem Dent make a play? And he will pick it off out of bounds. So a third and nine for Indianapolis. 54 seconds to go. They still got all three timeouts. Bowden looking to get rid of the football. He'll just check it down to Kyron Williams. Williams is going to get hit sticked. And here's your game, folks. Fourth and five. Can the Giants defense go win the game? Bowden looking to throw. He's got all day in the pocket. Still looking to his right. He's got a man open. Oh, and he catches it out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. We're going to win the game, and you know who that was, right? For the first time all game, his first target of the ball game, it was Devontae Adams. Yeah, he's a low overall, but still, he's got, like, superstar dev. They throw it to Devontae Adams on the final play of the game. Adams, though, can't get two feet in bounds, and the New York football Giants... Folks, we are still undefeated here after week five. The Giants are 5-0. and The rest of the NFC East is all 2-3 and three after this week. Hey, man, you got to win these games in the road. You got to win these tough games in the road, and this is what it is. Prime time, you go on the road, you beat a very good Indianapolis Colts team. Before next week, we have to take on the Washington football team back at home where we try to go 6-0 after that. You got a game on the road in New Orleans against the Saints, and then you got Monday Night Football, or Sunday Night Football, I do believe, against the Jacksonville Jaguars for Week 8. So all that to look forward to, folks. Thank you all for watching episode number 110 of the New York Football Giants franchise mode here on Madden 22. If you haven't yet, though, make sure that subscribe button. Demo for more, and Mava from.